Hey, what's going on folks? Your boy Scott here again, here to make another tutorial, how-to video. Let's get rid of this image and get right into the action, baby. So, one of my favorite things to do in the game is probably ouching, because you could get a lot of money and save up and uh, pretty much uh, level up your magic. If you're a lower level, you would understand that money is very crucial in the game and there's many different things you could be doing with the money that you earn so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys right now if you're a new player and you're on like mobile and you don't know where to start start by going over to this area over here in Varrock village or town as you would say go to Zaf, talk to him, trade him and you'll see that he has uh, quite a few staffs available. So what you, I would want to go with is maybe the Staff of Fire. Because that will save you runes. It won't spend any of the runes as long as you have nature runes. To be high ouching whatever you want to turn into money. Now don't be confused because there's a low ouch and then there's also a high ouch. You gotta be a level 55 in order to use the high ouch me. And that will turn anything that you press into a currency in the game. Now as you guys can see I'm leveling up my smithing and I'm also leveling up my magic. So I'm gonna have to be buying more nature runes pretty soon. So what I would do is if you're smithing get some bars have a good time make some chain bodies or make some plates um, me I haven't got there yet I'm only a level 61 smithing XP so XP I have like at least 33,000 more experience to go and I'm making 150 experience every time I smith a rune chain not rune what am I saying Duh. every time I smith a mithril chain body is what I meant to say. Um, you know, I mean, you're gonna have to run a, run around the bank a lot in order to get these bars to keep going. But what I like to do is kill a little bit of time. You know, just kill a little bit of time, get the mithril bars. If you spend an arm and a leg, it don't matter. You'll make the money back. Um, me, personally. I like to get everything out of the way. If I have a goal, I set my plan to it. So I like to pretty much just vibe, chill out, relax, watch a few videos on my phone as I'm doing my smithing and also my alchemy. So let's let's start by uh, making some plates, making some chain bodies here. And I'll go go ahead and uh, do a full inventory for you guys to see. If you're confused and you want to train and you're brand new at the game, I highly suggest training on cows, goblins, chickens. And uh, you'll get there, trust me. It just takes a little bit of time. And uh, me, I'm making tons of cash. So hi, Alchemy. I almost I got nervous before I almost thought I ouched my uh, my uh, abyssal poison dagger. I was so scared. My heart jumped out of my freaking stomach. I thought I lost my freaking sword. I was like, "What the hell, man? Really?" As I'm trying to make a video. So as you can see, I'm going up there in the, in the thousands. Just by alching and having a little bit of runes to spare. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me just get done here. I'm almost done. I'm already on 38,000. And this is going to be a significant help for me. Because uh, it's more coins for alching than it is for selling them in the uh, Grand Exchange. So I'm just alching and I'm getting rid of what I have. It's like selling something in the exchange, but right from your own comfort zone, where you don't got to go into the crowd. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
If this video helped you out in any kind of way, please leave a like, subscribe, follow, comment, share. Deuces!